Hello, good morning, and welcome to this brief tutorial where I'm going to walk you through, using the Kepler wallet, how you can check your eligibility and also claim your Orchestrator AI airdrop. Again, if you qualified for that airdrop. And so right up front, here's what I'm going to be covering. Remember, everything you're going to see me doing, I'm going to be using the Kepler wallet. Now, there are other wallets. I don't use those. So the focus in this video is claiming your Orc AI airdrop or checking your eligibility as well but using the Kepler wallet. So if you're not a Kepler wallet user, you might as well punch out right now. So here's what we're gonna be covering. I'm gonna talk about how you check your eligibility and then how you can go ahead and claim those tokens. Uh, I'm gonna show you the price because the price action on this token is going bananas. Now, I don't know if the XOCH, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, the, yeah, I think it's the OCH uh, is the, there's a temporary token you're going to get, but I, I don't know if the XOCH is going to be valued one for one. I certainly hope it is based on the price I'm going to show you, uh, but we'll see. I'm going to talk about how to get into the application. We're going to take a look at how you can manually add the token if you don't qualify, but you're still interested in maybe purchasing some of these tokens, how you can add some Orc AI tokens to your wallet and specifically how you would add uh, the contract address, which we have, right? Which has been a huge problem with the Andromeda token, trying to track down the contract address. I've been in their Discord multiple times. We've got many people in there asking the same thing. All right, let's get off my soapbox there. I'm going to focus back over onto the Orc AI chain. I'm going to show you uh, how you can go ahead and add that token with the contract address. I'm going to give you the original tweet, all of the stuff I cover, anything I show you that has a link, I'm going to put that link in the description of the video down below. And I have already sent some orchestrator, the X O C H. I've already sent some of those tokens between Kepler wallets. This is my test setup right here over in my Brave web browser, which is where I kind of do all my stuff. That is where I did my uh, check to see if I'm eligible, got my claim, and then I went ahead and sent 0.25 to this wallet. So let's go ahead and dive in, but please remember, I'm not an investment advisor. This is an investment advice. Uh, you Be prepared to lose everything if you follow the steps that I'm laying out here. And with that, let's go ahead and dive in. So you're going to want to go to uh, orcai.io. Now, this is going to bring you to their main homepage here. You can see they've got all kinds of statistics. We want to launch the dApps, right? So if I was to click on that, it's going to open... Uh, this window here, and let me go ahead and refresh this and we'll get back to the dashboard. Now you'll notice it shows that my wallet is already connected. Now this is really nice because it shows it's the Kepler wallet that's connected and it gives me my Orc AI address. So if I needed to copy it, I could simply click on that and now I've got it copied. And this is exactly how I sent some tokens from my other Kepler wallet to this test Kepler wallet here. Now you'll notice on the left hand side, come down a little bit and they've got the airdrop feature here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on airdrop and this brings us over here. It's gonna connect my wallet. You can see you may have to click there because again, I'm already connected from the main sort of DAP page there. And then I clicked on airdrop. Now, this is what you're going to see here. If you are eligible, right? And obviously I'm this, this test app wallet I have here is not staking anything, but if you are eligible, you're going to see a message right here that tells you that you are eligible. And then right below that, it's going to say, add the X O C H token to your Kepler wallet. And all you have to do is click on that little link that's here. Now, if you're not eligible, right? How would you add that? Well, it's as simple as coming to your Kepler wallet. We're going to, I'm oh, sorry, I actually didn't need to click over to the dashboard, uh, but you would click on your little uh, Kepler wallet web browser extension. You're going to click here. You're going to click on add token. Now you're going to be able to pick from the chains in the web browser extension, not the Kepler mobile app. Let me make sure I'm upfront about that. On the Kepler mobile app, I tried multiple times doing exactly what you see here, where on the Kepler mobile app, I had to add the chain first. So you add the chain in the Kepler mobile app, 
Then when you put the contract address in, you get this network not available error. So again, I tried about a half dozen times, was never able to get it working with Kepler Mobile. And the Andromeda token, there were a couple of users were having uh, similar issues using the trying to get Andromeda uh, ANDR added as well. So, but in the Kepler web browser extension, you're just going to roll on down here and you should see or I chain. Now, if you don't, right, it might mean that you didn't click on it, but you should see it and you can see that it's right here, right? And it shows that the XOCH, I've already added it, right? So your question might be, okay, well, that's great. You added it. How do I add it? Well, you're going to need the contract address, right? You would click on add token and you need this contract address. Where do you get that? Well, thank goodness they tweeted out back on January 4th, the contract address for the XOCH token. And that's all I did was I copied that right there and I pasted it right in here where it was asking for the contract address under the hamburger and add token. Come down, pick the right chain, go to Ori chain or Orc chain. Uh, and I clicked on add token and I dropped that token address in here. And as soon as I did that, it added it. And that was when the 0.25 that I had sent to this wallet, that's when it showed up. It did not show up prior to that. And remember you have this little add more chains down here. Well, that's how I thought this was going to roll, but it is not. So when you click on that, it's going to bring you to chains.kepler.app. It looks like chains.kepler.app. Uh, may not have caught up yet. So when I put in here, uh, you know, let me array chain. So if I try to get the array, ah, so it is here today. All right. When I check, I uh, said so here now. I checked very early this morning. I did not see this earlier this morning. So maybe I overlooked, uh, looked it, uh, and you can see that it's already added, right? So I'd already added uh, the array chain. Now one other thing that you might have to deal with when you add it to your Kepler wallet is you're going to come here, you're going to go to uh, manage chain visibility, and it's going to open up this new window here. Uh, because again, this uh, Ori chain, this is not clicked by default, right? So let's see what happens. If I unclick that and click save, let's take a look at the Kepler wallet now. Let's see what it shows if we see that in here because you, I had to click on that as well and take a look, right? My XOCH tokens, gone. The Ori chain, gone, right? So in addition, you know, you got to make sure you add the chain and you have to add the token, right? So let me go back to, whoop, I didn't want to do that. Sorry, I already had that open. Uh, so we've already added it, right? So it shows it's added. So we go to the Kepler wallet. We're going to come back over here to the hamburger. Let's get that hamburger menu up. All right, come on, Kepler. All right, here we go. So we're going to get to the hamburger menu. We're going to come down here to um, oh, where manage chain visibility. Sorry about that. I was, I was like, wait, we're adding the token. No, we're not adding the token. So I'm going to come to manage chain visibility. And it's when you turn the visibility for the array chain on and it should be right down here in alphabetical order and I click save then what I've sent right and received then it's going to be visible to me here in my Kepler wallet so then the question is okay well you've got this XOCH but you have no array and again I don't know if it's going to be a one for one I certainly hope it is uh, based on the price action that I had showed you earlier however if if it if it is or if it isn't right uh, there is supposed to be a converter that's, oops, sorry, there's supposed to be a converter that's coming out today. My guess is it might be over here somewhere. Uh, and here's the XOCH management. So maybe it has been added here so that you can convert your XOCH to ORAI. And let's go ahead and see. Uh, if that's possible, yeah. So you can see the XOCH definitely uh, not, or actually here it says it is one for one, but it's interesting. It shows the price, or maybe that's what the point, no, it wouldn't be the 0.25, right? So it's kind of interesting. Now they've got this vesting mechanism as well, and none of mine is convertible. So it looks like you might be waiting around. And again, you can read right here. This is sort of the reward token. So 
Clearly, there's going to be a one-year vesting schedule of some kind. Uh, there may be more details there. But this is how you can claim or check your eligibility for, claim your XOCH tokens, uh, and then they've got the XOCH management down here to give you a whole bunch of additional information about how this is going to work in terms of the vesting schedule. I'm not going to get into that. And we talked about how you can add the Arai chain as well as the contract address to your Kepler wallet so that you can see how many of those tokens you have received. All right, well, hopefully this is going to help you out, get you on your way, and give you some good information behind this airdrop and how you can check your eligibility. All right, as always, I can't thank you guys enough for your time. I hope I've earned the privilege of your time, and I wish you guys the best. Hopefully you're going to get some Orchestrator AI tokens, the XOCH, and be able to do something good with them. All right, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I hope to see you in the next video.